That was a lot of finger words, I think. What's up guys, it's Christian. Um, I haven't uploaded a video in a while. Right now we're doing a fingerboard collection video and I'm uh, pretty excited to share my collection on YouTube because I've only shown a couple of them online or Instagram, it's basically it. So yeah, let's get on to this one, this should be fun. All right, let's start off with a banger. Cowplay, I got this one from John, directly from John, uh, back at the Sessions event, so this one was pretty cool. I've never had a cowplay, and I got this one personally from him. Second, we have another cowplay. I got this one from the G8 Sessions, winning first place at the best run. I really like the packaging on this one. He actually just changed it. Two, two decks for cowplay. Uh, check them out. Every brand that I'm gonna be showing, uh, link is gonna be in the description. But yeah, cowplay. Polydex, I've actually never heard of Polydex till this year. Oh, actually, I lied. I'm sorry, Tyler. I've heard of Polydex, but I thought they quit making decks. I just remember the cat. And then um, he was Filipino, so all of a sudden, fam, just right there, we're already, like, close. So to all the Filipino deck makers out there, we're pretty much bros already. So this is the uh, the Polydex. The first one that he gave me. Second one is another poly deck, the big boy size, the big baller. I think that's that's, that's it. The two cats, probably my favorite poly deck graphic. Next up, we have the uh, subliminal. I got this one from Ben the first time I ever met him. Still haven't opened it. That was I think over a year ago. Next one is another subliminal. Another sorry for fingerboarding event. The second time he went, I did try this one. This one's pretty fun. Next up, we have my unique decks. Shoutouts to Mallory Curtis from Unique. Got this one, two tone. Only two tone deck I have. I love two tones. I've never had a two tone um, besides this. I uh, actually made a stock with a two tone, but I never kept one. Forgot the shape. I think it's a hatchling. Got this one next. Before it released, actually, this is the Juvie shape. So you can see over there, it says Proto. I love this deck a lot. I won my first Sorry for Fingerboarding event with this deck, so that's pretty special. The last Sorry for Fingerboarding event, uh, Mallory handed me a new deck. This just came out too. Juvie shape. It's my favorite unique shape. So yeah. That's my unique collection. Unique collection, get it? <laughs> Alright, now we're about to get into the heavy hitters. Let's start off with the boss. With the boss. The Maker Mice graphic. That was Jordan from Bosswood. And I'm a big fan of Disney. And when he gave me this, I was like, alright, that's a sick graphic. Parasilton graphic. I forgot the name of this graphic. This is my first boss deck and I used it. This one was pretty cool. I like this one a lot. Next up is another Bosswood. This is our official collaboration. This is actually a ramen spot in San Diego called Nishiki. I think this graphic is unreleased, actually. Uh, you can't even see it anymore. It's uh, Mike Tyson. This is Mike Tyson. With the boss logo and finally he gave me one of the super old boss before the shape now so this is a super old boss he drew that so this is rare i'd say now let's get into the berlin wood this one right here start off with this one this is a very special deck to me because i could not afford this back in the day my friend eddie vargas you guys should know him he's og in ffi he traded me this because he had it and i gave him a beast pant split and i was like this is one of my favorite decks this one same mold this was recently just trashed or i'm not not recent but back in october 2016 that's actually when i came back to fingerboarding and this is the setup i used now this is one of the boards that made me go up a size 29 because I, I used to love 29 i used to for a while but then I got this one to 32 so I love this one a lot got this one used from a local uh, fingerboarder that I knew back in high school kind of want to set up a Berlin wood again all right next up is probably the most important Berlin woods in my collection go with this one first this is a very 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 old one of the first graphics that Berlin would came up with came up what came out with and this is the uh, minus I think that we don't give a duck there's a duck that's pretty clever because we don't give up this is this is pretty fire not only that this is a really old Berlin wood Martin from Black River actually gave this to me and I was like thanks dude next up we have the Texas rendezvous split Berlin wood last year when I went to uh, Texas I won second place and it's a rare Berlin wood. I think only three people has this I think Jeremy's one of them and Kelsey's one of them this is pretty fire I will never get this off my collection this one again was given to me by Martin signed by Martin right there make it official he wanted one of my decks I gave him one and he gave me one of these and this is a board that I will never use because of how special it is I don't think they make this graphic anymore I'm not sure, but but yeah, this is the uh, Martin Winkler graphic. Finally, we have the Jeldo Pro model, and this was very special as well because it's signed by Jeldo. Uh, I met him uh, when he went to America, and he wanted one of my decks, and then he had this. And I think it was supposed to sell all of the decks, but then he was just like, oh, let's just trade. There you go. I right, just FYI, I'm trying to go through this video as fast as I could because I don't want you guys to get bored watching a collection video, and it's just like too long. So yeah, let's continue the video. We're about to get into the stack section, and then a the catfish barbecue section, and the beast pants. And I put this all three brands last because this is the most decks I have from them. So let's start off with the stack. This one, Curb Sled. This is one of my favorite shapes, a Curb Sled. And um, this graphic has a boss graphic. Chetty, the owner of stack, gave this to me from, I think, at Sorry back in I think Christmas time. Next one is a, it's an embossed deck. I don't know if you can see the emboss. What makes this deck special is, I don't think he released this graphic. 
I had this before everyone else, so pretty cool, I'd say. This one is pretty fire. I saw this one from, uh, I think, a friend of mine from Instagram, which I forgot the Instagram name, I'm such a bad friend, but I met him through Instagram, and I was like, 50 for the uh, Louis Vuitton stack. Dropped 50 and got the deck, because this one is pretty rare. I don't know how many decks he made with the uh, Louis Vuitton. Some people said, oh, dude, that's fake, because he only made a Gucci one, but people don't know that he did make Louis, so if you know, you know. This one's a custom, so you can see, it says for Christian, for Christian, AKA Kalia, and uh, drawing right there. Uh, so technically, it's the bowl buster if I'm not mistaken where it's three sides on top pointy tail two different shapes combined that he hasn't made and I thought it was pretty fire custom graphic too next up this deck is pretty special because it's a bowl buster and it has the Mona Lisa graphic split with the uh, the pink graphic this is special because i think he sold it to jeremy then jeremy traded it to kelsey and then i bought this one from kelsey for like 30 bucks so very special stack deck i actually use this for a while too this deck has a very very sick graphic on it one of my favorite stack graphics it's called for the kids and um it's literally for the kids and this deck he gave this to me before i went to alaska and i had to set up in alaska so it's pretty special we're up to the last four decks from stack another very special deck uh, chetty gave this to me when we went to texas rendezvous and obviously so he didn't have to give it to me but he made me a deck and i was like yo thanks i didn't say it like that that was so monotone and this is very special because i don't think he ever made this graphic i think he only made one but or another one but a different um base graphic but yeah this sports rare this one is very rare. It's another curb sled deck, and uh, what makes this deck special is it, it's split ply, so that stack is split, but what makes this deck special is it has a 4 kids graphic. That's it, that's the only time I'm ever gonna show it because I don't wanna get demonetized. And then this one, from last Christmas, we had a Secret Santa with uh, unique decks, uh, stack, Catfish Barbecue Beast, Pants, and uh, Darien and Darien. And uh, Darien got me and he got this one from Chetty um, because I wanted like a like a layered graphic and um, I don't think I'm ever gonna use this too because it's just special and look at that graphic. There's like one, two, three, there's multiple graphics on this. So I don't wanna count. Finally, I just got this one recent. I always wanted the Shred Sled, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this one is another embossed deck as you can see. There it is. I got this one recently, uh, last week from Chetty. I've been wanting an S2 shape, so that's like the, the higher kick. So this is one of my favorite, and I can't wait to set it up because uh, I love S2s. And now, let's get into the Catfish Barbecue collection. So this one right here is very special because this is the first Catfish Barbecue I bought. This was not the graphic that was originally on it. I had the blues graphic uh, when we went to Texas and I bought a deck from Vlad. And then he said he could put a new graphic on it. So I picked the red art show because I don't want everyone to use this deck because it's my favorite catfish barbecue graphic. Second one is a split saltwater catfish barbecue. My second favorite catfish barbecue graphic, the Her Majesty. And it's a split ply. I have some dynamic board rails if you guys don't know what that is. This one is another freshwater. Uh, this one is the anatomy graphic. I think it's an anatomy graphic with a split. And then uh, this one's a freshwater. All right, this one is a fun one. It's a catfish barbecue saltwater. It's a saltwater. And uh, the graphic is boss. Saltwater 29 millimeter is pretty fire. I really like this deck a lot. I need to get 29 millimeter trucks because I really want to set up another one. Next one is a invasion graphic. I don't think I ever liked this graphic when it released, but I did like the graphic afterwards when it released. So I just wanted to keep the graphic because I think he's not gonna make this deck anymore. Next one is a 34 millimeter fresh water. This is actually uh, a stack loss supper graphic. This is a fresh water 34. That's why it's kind of wide. It's not kind of wide. It's actually pretty wide. You should try, just try this one for sure. And then this one is another 29 fresh water. This one is with the art show graphic. So this one's very special because it's it's not very special. It's just a 29 catfish barbecue, but it's pretty fun. All right, this deck for sure is pretty special. Vlad gave me this one. He actually used this one for one of our videos. Fish scale emboss, as you can see. This one you can tell the emboss pretty well. And this is a salt water. It's actually this old deck, and I never got my hands on the fish scale, so he just gave me this one. And it's another art show. Yes, another art show. Um, this one is another emboss. This is the new catfish barbecue salt water. But uh, this one has like little emboss on it. I don't know if you can tell because my camera sucks just check my instagram but it has uh clear graphics so the only real wear it has is the the art show right here finally we have the stack fish barbecue deck this one uh vlad gave this to me and i never got my hands on this one but he handed me one after session but uh i'm gonna be putting a graphic on this very soon pretty special deck i don't think he's ever gonna make this again with uh just stacked now let's get into the beast pants 
That's a lot of beast pens. And no, I'm not sponsored by beast pens because it looks like it's straight from a sponsor pack. Let's start off with the loose ones, which is um, the used ones. I think this is a feral. Feral pizza pants, just a burl bottom ply with the pizza graphic. This one's my first beast pants is the pink first stripe. The first time I was ever exposed to the new fingerboard brands because I wasn't aware. I thought it was just Berlin wood and flat face. When I came back to fingerboarding, I thought beast pants fingerboards were like super dope and they're, they're super dope. And you'll see why because I have all of this. Last use decks is the. Well, what tape is this? It's really good. Darian Pro Model, the Photomancer. One of my favorite graphics. I just bought this deck just to support Darian and, of course, Beast Pants. And, uh, but they're one of the best graphics in fingerboarding. And now we'll get into the uh, brand new ones. This one is from my first fingerboard event, Bigger Chill. This is actually not the original packaging, I just packaged it, but the deck is not used. And uh, it's the uh, Smoking Cat one. My first Beast Pants from the online. On 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 the first Beast Pants from uh, online release. It's the split on split, split here and then split going that way. One of my favorite decks and it's signed by Chris. I was a big fan of Chris and I still am. The first time I met him and I was like, sir, sir, can you please sign it, sir? Okay, it wasn't like that, but it was, it was pretty dope that he signed it. Next one is the uh, another split on split, like two splits here, two splits here, and then the cat split. But the combination of the uh, real wear uh, branding in the middle. This one is a Sucker Beast Feral with the, uh, I think, minimal graphic. Halloween special release, Smoking Bat, Smoking Cat bat i forgot the name this is the one that i won from the release and um luckily enough i got it and i didn't have to struggle trying to get it off the website the last one he gave me was a 34 millimeter i think i just asked him what decks he had that time at g8 and he was like you have well you want one and i was like sure it's a 34 beast pants and i love beast pants so i gave him one of my new decks last but not least a 33 millimeter rabid cat boy and this is very special because look, look at this it's glitter it's glitters it's glitters and i think this is the one of one deck so this is one of my favorite decks in my collection embossed top line you really can't tell but yeah this is my my favorite from my beast pants collection not that that's over i have all my fingerboard collection in a plastic bin and i really need to get a case for it or a frame but yeah this is where i keep all my fingerboard collection it's kind of sad so hot in here Thank you for watching this video and if you like this video please comment down and subscribe let me know what you guys want to see next but i'm going to be uploading more videos hopefully every week and that's the best i could do for now since i have school but yeah thanks for watching my collection and uh also comment down below which one is your favorite deck and um my favorite is the beast pants uh glitter one so yeah peace no fancy outro i don't know peace it's always like that anyway